Jeff. Hey guys, so we're gonna be doing a review on the Coleman CC100X, Coleman RB200, and CT200 UEX mini bikes. So we're gonna start off with this one. So this one, it's a 100cc, three horsepower engine. It's pretty good, but it's not that big, but it's decent, it's pretty comfortable. Here, I'll show you a five foot four man. He's not five foot four. <laughs> no. I am. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I'm like 5'10", and I can still fit pretty good on it, so yes. it's pretty pog. All right, so if you're going to be taking this thing off-road, it'll do okay, but the chain might pop off a couple times. It did it t uh, two times, I think. Yeah. Two times, one for me and one when we were on the trail. Yeah. So overall, it's a good mini bike. I recommend it, but if you have enough money, then get the 200s if you're going to go off-road. Yeah. But one thing I really like about this is it's so easy to make it go fast. Like we barely even cut off any of the screw. We have about Stop. three three Pretty fourths of the screw left. Yeah. And it increased by almost ten miles an hour. Yeah. So you can probably get it to at least thirty eight or forty if you cut the whole thing. Yeah. So good speed, okay power. Onward has good power, just off road. Yeah. Like, there's some steep hills, it's not gonna make it up all the way. Yeah. But it's a good mini bike, like I recommend it because it's pretty cheap, only 380. Yeah. But around 400 with all the other taxes and dumb shit you have to go through. Yeah. Here's your choke, funny gas tank. It can hold about half a gallon of gas around yeah, there. Like yeah. The tires are pretty decent, has good tread, about 14 inches tall. Mm -hmm. I like the little plate that has the three on it. So, yeah, good mini bike overall. Now Alright, so it's not going to start the first pull because we messed with the air filter and put a different one, but yeah. I'm going to start it and do a quick ride for you guys, so. Yes. Try to start the same. It does that sometimes. Yeah. It's not going to be this hard if you guys do it. We just yeah. It and it's like 10 years old. Yeah, pretty up. Pretty okay, yeah, one next. Last thing. One oh, last thing. yeah. The kickstand. So, <laughs> I think we're the only one that had this problem, but kickstand spring comes off all the time. Happened at least five times to us. Put a rubber band on. Yeah, we either just tape the kickstand or put the rubber band on it. It's been holding up okay, but I don't know. Just something you guys should know. So, yeah, it's a pretty good mini bike. So, yeah, now onto that one. Hey guys, this is a 196cc Coleman RB200 mini bike. And it goes like 22 stock and like, I don't know, I haven't took the little screw thing all the way out. I don't really want to, but right now it goes like 25 or 26. Um, so it's a pretty good main bike. It's pretty heavy. Like, yeah, really heavy. Yeah, yeah it's 6.5 horsepower, you didn't mention yeah, that. Yeah, 6.5 horsepower, 196, air cooled. Um, Funny uh, headlight. It has a headlight and the wheels are like, I forgot, what was it like? About 19, 19 uh, almost inch. 19 inches, so yeah. good wheels and a funny headlight. Um, it has a CDI down here, which a lot of them don't, all the older models don't. And I like the uh, funny things because they look like that. Foot pegs. Yeah, I just honestly like them better like that. It has epic suspension. Oh. Oh. Pretty fog. And yeah. Um, how much of gas can it hold? Uh, however much gas a gas tank holds. Then <laughs> what do you mean? Mine um, holds like a gallon, so probably yeah. a gallon too. Yeah, gallon. This seat's huge. Yeah, and I like how on this funny thing, it has a chain on it, so funny doesn't fall off. Gas. Yeah. And, and also, like, dude, 
Why is the fuel line like all the way up here? But the other one's not like that. I don't know. It's weird. It has a dirt bike foot pegs. But I like the other ones better because they're longer, but it's yeah. still good. Yeah. I put mirrors on mine in the phone stand and a funny gif back here. Wait, why take mirrors off? I forgot. Because I had I was using that for fruit at the time. Oh. Put them back on. Dude, look at what he did. He put a bunch of these little reflection stickers. Yeah, my mom made me. Yeah. But there is one thing that I don't like Fucking about this one. This. Yeah. There's the some design flaws, but it's a good mini bike. I might lie. as well just put tape over that. Yeah, but it would look shitty if you do that. Like, but okay. yeah, it's a good mini bike, yeah, guys. It's a pretty, damn good mini bike. Yeah. So next scene is gonna start it and ride it. It's really loud, Water. by the way. First pull. Let me let it warm up first. Yeah. It's very loud. But also with this one, like, it makes these weird poppy noises or it used to. Like, yeah, remember? but that was just because I was mixing old gas with new gas. Yeah, so. Like different options. Yeah. I'm gonna warm up and next scene he'll actually ride it. Alright, he's gonna ride it now. Pretty epic. What just happened? Whoopies. What just happened? I don't know. I just leave it alone. It did that once before. Okay, yeah, that one has a lot of weird problems. That's yeah. weird. Alright, now on to this one. Alright, now on to this one, the Coleman CT 200 UEX. This one, it's a beast, I'll tell you that. So, first thing that happened was, so it came with a gas leak. It's very rare for that to happen. It's probably never gonna happen again to anyone. But happened to us, we had to replace the fuel line, which was really unfortunate because we didn't get to ride it for about two days, which kind of sucked. But we got that fixed. And the second issue was it would just take off full throttle yeah, without yeah, me even on the throttle. Like, started it yeah. And it just went. Oh yeah, and by the way, like first start, so much smoke comes out and it's so loud when you first start it, like two or three times louder than usual when it's idling, but it's pretty crazy. So yeah. For us, it just took off full throttle randomly. I don't know why I did that, but let me show you the little mark that it left. And left a big mark on the sidewalk. That's the mark. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't even know why that happened. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh yeah, dude, that's the mark that left. Those? Yeah, a lot of marks. All right, so it's the same as that one, basically just 196 CC, 6.5 horsepower engine. But there's a lot of things I like about this one. The first one is the looks. It looks pretty good and this little fake gas tank which can store a lot of things i we usually go to like gas stations and stuff and put a bunch of stuff there to take it back yeah so you can store a lot of things in this thing and it's really good for off-roading it makes it through pretty much anything on trails even big puddles and stuff but all of them can make it through but this one just isn't good this one has the biggest tire so far out of all these it has 19 point a little bit above 19 inch tires pretty good it starts so easily though like just one little weak pull like this and it'll start and just in case you don't know how to start these mini bikes because you're like a beginner or something just press that button and put the choke lever to this side and then once you pull it let it warm up for a little bit with the choke on that side and then put it back here's your air filter gas tank you know all the all that stuff this one has suspension too but here, do the funny suspension thing. Check it. It's not as loose as his, but it still works fine. I put a mirror on this one. I put another one on this side, but it broke. Yeah. But yeah, has a pretty cool headlight. It's hella bright. His is pretty bright too, but like since the little covers on it, it's dimmer. But they're both pretty good headlights. Yeah, just a really good mini bike. And one thing I don't like about it though is that to get to the little screw, you have to take off the air filter completely, but it's not a big issue. Like we did that pretty easily. 
and some other things. Um, let me think. It has decent foot pegs. And the uh, ground clearance is very up. Yeah, ground clearance is awesome on this thing. Yeah, like, it's almost as high as the cars. It's like about six, seven inch ground clearance. I can make it like there's a bunch of roots that comes from the ground at one part of the trail and it makes it right over it fine and shoots pretty good the seating position is really comfortable too like you know you reach all the way out here it's pretty good the throttle is very loose like just you can yeah, easily like, use it just go like that. yeah you get on it five two person on it that's what it looks like i'm not five two yes you are I'm like five three and a half Okay, he's like five three and a half or something like that but that's what it looks like it's pretty big his is the longest this one's the tallest brakes work good fenders are good everything's pretty much good about all of them but if i were to recommend the off-road bike this one yeah, on-road bike the red one and that one just i don't know it doesn't yes. really matter they're all good that one's the best for on-road because you can make it really fast but these two can make it through trails easily. It's pretty poggers. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. One gallon of gas is how much it can hold. And the only other issue we had was, I mean, it's not that much of an issue, but oil leak. This oh, little yeah. bolt here came loose and that's this fell off. Just from changing oil because they changed it before that. Yeah, we changed it before it because I was already supposed to do that. And he probably only tightened like one part. Yeah, I mean, I thought he tightened it good, but a bunch of tracks were left on the street and the sidewalk. It's better now, but it's it was pretty bad. But yeah. Hey, it should show ride. Yeah, I'll do it though. Okay, this one. Yeah, he'll ride. I'll ride it, then he'll ride it. Yes. Yeah. Overall, I recommend this one okay. or the red one. So. Yeah. Oh, guys. Hi, is this guys. funny man riding funny thing? Yeah. That is Watch funny. Yeah. Hey, let's get that exhaust sound real quick. Hot, like yeah, really it, the red it can melt plastic easily. It's very loud too, so. Yeah, it's loud as hell. Guys, Epic. Very epic. By the way, it goes about 19 stock. It kind of depends because some yeah. people, some people get like 22, 21. So it yeah. just depends. Okay, no. So that's 21 right there. Now he's gonna ride it because I want to see how loud it is and stuff. Very funny. This one's the loudest so far out of all of them. It's really loud. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and all that. You know, Jeff. epic. Yes, Jeff. So yeah, subscribe, guys. It's very epic.